Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. Well, groundbreaking technology at One West Michigan Hospital helping detect breast cancer much earlier. Fox 17's Angeline McCall takes a closer look at the new type of artificial intelligence. Radiologists here at Metro Health have the impossible job of looking through thousands of images every single day to figure out if someone has cancer. When it comes to breast cancer specifically, think about it like an onion, where radiologists have to go in and look at every single individual layer to figure out if someone has a certain type of breast cancer. But now there's new technology to help the doctors behind the computer. We're going to go one image at a time. A careful eye could save a life. Some of these uh, abnormalities are, are very hard to see. Um, you know, you might see it one day, you might not see it the next. Dr. Mark Trail at Metro Health has spent decades recognizing the smallest of details on mammograms that point to breast cancer. It's a lot of stress. This is something that you worry about reading these every day, that I see what I was supposed to see today looking now literally at thousands of images every day. In September, he looked at Gwenin Engen scan. She's a nurse here at Metro Health. They called me back within an hour and said, um, we need to see you again, take some more views and do an ultrasound. The ultrasound didn't detect anything, so doctors gave her the option to wait or do a biopsy. When they kept calling me back for more and more tests, I was thinking, I, I exercise regularly, I eat healthy, um, I'm active. It's probably nothing. You're chasing a ghost. It's it'll be fine. Eventually, the biopsy came back with stage one breast cancer. To say I was shocked is an understatement. Dr. Trail used artificial intelligence introduced just a couple of months ago to look more closely at Gwenin scan. What AI brings to the table is a much more precise reading on the mammogram. It's it's better. The technology is called Profound AI, made by company ICAD, which identifies specific areas that could be cancer. Here we go. It drew a circle uh, around the area for me. The technology noticed something odd in just one of Gwenin's hundreds of images. It gave it a percentage of 56 which is close to where we start to get really concerned. The technology, together with a doctor's eye, could prove life-changing for cancer patients with very early stage cancers. It was nice to have that kind of as a backup, and it basically proved that he's doing what he's supposed to do. For doctors, it means they don't have to rely on just their eyes anymore to save a life. Well, what makes it so special for our field is that it makes us better at what we do. For this AI technology, patients do have to get mammograms done with 3D images. Now, not all insurance companies cover that sort of mammogram, but for the ones that do, this technology does not add any additional cost to that. Reporting in Wyoming, Angeline McAuliffe, 17 News. All right. Angeline, thank you.